Yeah, man, you know, it's always woke up this morning, calm as can be, family's around, everything's normal, and then you start driving here and you start getting a little anxious, you start getting a little more excited. So, you know, obviously I've been doing this for a little bit now, and uh, I'm just excited for the new opportunity, new chapter in my life. Yeah, uh, it depends on how loud my kids were that that morning. Usually, if uh, if they're super loud, I probably won't put any music on. I just realized I'm not even driving with music, but typically I put on some music uh, or a podcast. What were you this morning? What about this morning? This morning I listened to Torrin Well, some Christian gospel. Yeah. What would be the um, you know uh, adjustment coming here to the Falcons? Or how do you see yourself fitting into the defense? Um, just bringing leadership and uh, my character uh, within the locker room, you know, on the field, communicating, making sure everybody, you know, is getting aligned and, you know, just having fun, man, bringing the energy here, uh, accountability here. And, uh, you know, just from OTAs, just looking in uh, back when we were uh, here, it was just, it's, it's a different feeling. So it's cool. I asked Deron this, a um, lot of new people back there in the secondary. Yeah. Um, how quickly can you all come together uh, on that part of the defense? Yeah, I think we took big strides in uh, OTAs, you know, with the restrictions, obviously, and the people that were here. Um, you know, I think we took big strides, and uh, young guys are willing to listen to the older guys. Uh, credit to the defensive staff. They presented the installs very well. Uh, Dean uh, Pease, his, uh, his defense speaks for itself, you know. Um, it's multiple, but it's very simplistic and uh, difficult for the opponents. You said uh, there's a different feeling during OTAs. Different compared to what? what um, just different, like, you know, just a different feeling from what I had in the past, you know, just as far as um, just having the younger guys and um, just being back in an area. Just when I was talking to my wife and making this decision to come here, um, it just felt like there was something bigger than just football for me to come here in this community and just to, to you know, reach out and, and share light and my family's light into this community. Going from uh, the West Coast here to the East Coast, when, uh thing you like the most about being back down in the south? Uh, just being closer to home, man, it makes it easier, uh, especially uh, from where I'm at. You know, there's no connecting flights. It's a straight flight now. So connecting flight with four kids and sometimes a dog is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah. seriously part of your decision? What? Oh no, it wasn't. But it's definitely a, it's definitely a perk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No, it's definitely a perk though. <laughs> Yeah, we were just joking about it in there. Everybody's like, how you feel? Everybody's like, great, you know, to day two, day three, legs a little sore. But, uh, you know, just getting back, and it's all about, you know, you talk to older guys that retire and step away from the game, the thing they miss the most is the locker room. So, uh, you know, just being in that locker room, joking with guys, you know, goofing around, and then coming out here and sweating and uh, putting in the work and the grind with the guys. And then on Sundays, Thursday, whatever day you play, uh, it, it just it's rewarding. I know you guys haven't had a chance to get into it live game action, but what's the expectation for this defense? I know Coach P, like you mentioned, his defense speaks for itself, but what are you guys expecting from yourself this season as it approaches? Yeah, um, you know, I, I expect people to talk about the defense. Obviously, they've always had a high power offense here. Uh, I've been part of some bad defenses, and obviously, you know, you look back and people say, oh, the defense didn't do this last year and this and that. But for me, it's just all about their going out there and making an establishment with the defense and, and setting a culture. So people aren't just talking about the offense. They're talking about the Atlanta Falcons as a team as, and special teams as well.